Welcome back to our four-part series for managing analytics at scale. This is part two, analyzing industrial data. For this demo, we are investigating a pump failure that reoccurs at several sites and has a significant impact to both operations and costs. The failure appears to occur suddenly without tripping any SCADA alarms in the days or the weeks leading up to the event. However, looking through our records, we learned that our Florida plant seems to be managing this issue much better than all the other plants. So we went there to find out how. It turns out that the day shift supervisor who's been working on the shop floor for over 15 years happens to have a knack for detecting these early indications of this type of failure. As he puts it, something just doesn't sound right. When you touch it, it doesn't have that same hum that it usually has. The plant management partnered with GE Digital and together designed a solution that solves this problem at the scale of their business. Next, we'll explain exactly how that all works. We start here with Operations Hub from GE Digital. This is your one-stop shop for IoT, historian, and other visualizations where you can create drag and drop, low-code, no-code applications, and a user-friendly editor that is automatically optimized to meet your viewing requirements. So you can view it from mobile, tablet, or even your desktop. For this demo, we've created a very simple ops hub application that is capable of starting and stopping equipment in the plant. It can display time series data from historian that updates in near real time. And it can display the equipment condition such as on, off, or whether or not it's in a warning mode. And all of this is based on IoT edge analytics. Those edge analytics are designed with machine learning. And if we take a peek under the hood of that machine learning output, we'll find Prophecy CSense, an industrial analytic application that is expertly designed for common industrial personas, such as engineers, operators, and analysts to drive new value out of their production and process data. Now, CSense is strategically situated in the manufacturing control layers of the business. So it comes with out-of-the-box connectivity to standard industrial data sources like OPC or Prophecy Historian in this case, and much, much more. Now, coming back to the story, and after talking to the ship's, to the ship's supervisor, who I mentioned before, he pointed us to the most recent maintenance event for that pump so that we could quickly pull the preceding Historian sensor data into the application. And as you can see here, with just a few clicks, we can actually pick our connection type, and in this case, it will be historian. We can establish connectivity by putting in the right IP address. We can choose a time frame and select other configuration options. And once we've settled in all of these options, we can easily browse all the historian tags within this application. And with just a few more clicks, we can load all that data into our troubleshooter environment. Now, after pulling all the right tags for that specific pump into our app, we can visualize our data. And when we do this, the findings jump right off the page. As you can see here, slight deviations in the current readings that just perfectly align with small drops in RPM. Small drops that are too small to be detected by the OEM recommended alarm limits and also, as we expected, the output PSI, which is the target, deviates just ever so slightly and remains undetected with good quality. Surely, this is that something that doesn't sound or feel right that our shift supervisor described at the beginning. Now, we can spend the next several minutes exploring the data set with different statistical techniques within the application to help build the case and plan a course of action. For example, we can pull an XY scatter plot to view the relationship between tags. Once we have our scatter plot, we can isolate the suspected regions by drawing a box around them and marking them with painting tools. And once you do that, you'll see that highlights all of these same timeframes and all the tags across the entire data set. We can also 
turn back to a distribution of each of these tags and look at the histograms. And as we load this up, you can clearly see that the shutdown appears all the way to the left, the startup mode appears all the way to the right, and right there in the middle, we actually have two separate distributions for both normal and what we suspect as being the failure mode data. So one of the final things that we might want to do is to export all of this painted data, which is in fact the suspicious data, and then also export all the non-painted data, which is in our case, the normal operating data, and export those into separate files. So after thoroughly analyzing this data set, we feel very confident that we've identified an early predictor of the pump failure. Next, we want to extend our analysis to the other plants around the world to see if the same predictor patterns might be repeating. And with any luck, we will be able to build a simple analytic to take care of this problem once and for all. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching part two, analyzing industrial data of our four part series, managing analytics at scale. I highly recommend that you tune into our next video, training machine learning analytics.